Yo, yo, what's up, guys? What's up? The new season is here. It is here. It is now. It is podcast style. It is here. Thank you for joining me for Lockout Men. Mace the call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The new season. Season premiere? Season number one? Number two? So it's not even a season maybe 2020 yeah yeah make the call 2020 mtc 2020 i will be getting a, a new breath a backdrop that i am working on but i wanted to hurry up and get this uh new episode out to you guys because you guys been waiting patiently and you guys been waiting long you know what i'm saying Yo, welcome back. Welcome back to what I do best. And what I do best is to call these companies for you guys. Yes, you. You. Right there in the screen. Right there. You. I make these calls for you guys. You guys is coming into the industry. Y'all don't know who to call. Y'all don't know what to say. Y'all don't know uh, what the what the, what the the feel when y'all talk to these recruiters out here. Well, here I am calling them up for you guys. Now, there is a lot of a lot of copycats out there, a lot of people that's doing that's trying to do the same thing. But remember, I am the originator. OK, they probably might want to do it a little bit better and I don't mind them doing it. Do your thing. But remember, I was the one that brought it to you guys first and this going is season number four yes sir season number four so what do you guys who do you guys want me to call today i put out a poll out there and let me see hold on i'm about to i'm about to pull that poll up right now right quick i'm about to pull that poll up and we about to we we about to see we about to see who we about to call. Now you guys got to got to bear with me because my phone internet is not all that hot right now. I'm in an area that is not hot and you just got to you just got to bear with me. There it is, the community. The community. All right. So I I put it out there. I put it out there. So we're going to call with 39% of the votes, we are calling, uh, night transportation. Yes, sir. That's who we're calling today. We are calling night transportation. Now, a lot of you guys is interested in night. I talk, as a matter of fact, I have an interview coming up with my man, uh, D Nitty, he's a night driver as well as a trainer for night. So I will be getting that interview up with him very shortly. But uh, as of right now, we about to give night a call, get them on the phone, see what they got to say, see what they got to offer. Let's see what night is all about. So let's see. I'm about to make the call. And as you guys know that I'm doing it like live right now doing it live right now oh, thank you for needs. calling night transportation for recruiting please press one for all other support well, please press. press two if you have a cdl please press one if you need a cdl please press two if you have more than 90 days over the road experience please press one and if you have less than 90 days over the road experience okay there's a lot two. of a lot Thank you for taking the time out of your day to contact the night transportation for food. If you have a CDL, please press or say one if you are interested in getting a CDL. If you have more than 90 days of over-the-road experience, please press or say okay, one. Go if not, please enter in your zip code and we will direct you to the appropriate recruiter. What if I don't have a zip code? You entered four four one zero eight. 
Is that correct? Press 1 for yes or 2 for no. Press or say 1 for dry van or 2 for refrigerated. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of automated picking. I just want to talk to somebody. So that's like. Press or say So it's one. like you got, is it like, like different people Press or, or like one. different sessions of the company that you want to talk to if you're interested in one or the other? Press or save. Please leave a detailed message, including your first and last name, and the best number we can return your call. We will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, Please no, record your message. After we're not doing that. We're not doing that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try one more time. So, after about a good five or ten minutes of trying to get someone on the phone with night transportation unfortunately it was a bust um i wasn't able to get anybody on um it was a whole lot of automated prompts uh you know uh prompt for this and a prop for that and a prompt for this and a prompt it was it was nerve wracking. I mean, you know, me being a, a veteran driver, I would be kind of disappointed. I mean, really, maybe, you know, for a new driver coming in, you know, you leave your phone number, you leave your name and then someone from, you know, night transportation would give you a call. That would be OK. But for a veteran driver that, you know, probably that's probably been in the game for a little minute. You know, you will want to actually talk with somebody. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So we're about to move on to the next call. Yo. All right. So unfortunately, the call tonight was a bust. And um, and yeah, I wasn't able to get a hold of them. Uh, only thing I was able to get a hold of was their automated system. And it pretty much gave the, the way I feel about it. It pretty much gave me the runaround. So sorry, guys. I, I, I tried calling night. Um, maybe if you guys have a, a direct phone number to uh, a, a, a recruiter, Definitely leave it in the comments below and uh, I will try again. But as of right now, I am moving on. And next up is, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. There you go, right there. Next up is Epps. They are, um, they are Nets. And looks like, looks like they are all over. Look like they hire all over the place. Uh, search for the job if you want, pretty much. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Bam. Yeah, so with Epps, there's opportunities from coast to coast. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Estates, estates, states, estates. They opened for business back in 1931. Of course, you know, you know their, uh, you know their requirements. Uh, hazmat endorsement is not required. They got driver trainees there. They definitely got me uh, mechanics, dock workers. Yeah, they, they, they looking. Let's see if I can find a phone number. Let's see if I can find a phone number. Uh, let me see. Let me go down here. Ah, here we go. Contact us. Uh, oop, wrong one. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Seven, seven, nine. 
seven five four three seven eight All right, we getting them on the phone right now. Let's see. Thank you for calling the Estes Express Lines recruitment hotline. For driver positions, press 1. For mechanic positions, press We know your time is valuable, so please take a few seconds to answer the following pre-qualifying questions. For each of the following questions, please select 1 for yes or 2 for no. Do you meet the DOT requirements of age 21 for CDL positions, and are you at least 18 years of age for straight truck positions? Press 1 for yes or 2 for no. Yeah. Have you been released from a driving position or had your license suspended in the past three years due to an alcohol or drug-related offense or a moving violation? Press 1 for yes. Or two, no. have you been convicted of an alcohol or drug-related offense while in a commercial vehicle? Press one for yes or two for no. Nope. Have you tested positive or refused to take a drug or alcohol test in the past three years? Press one for yes or two for no. Nope. You have satisfied our pre-qualifying questions. Okay. All right. Thank you for calling that. This is Roderick speaking to help you. Hey, Roderick, how you doing? Are you, are you a recruiter? Oh, yes, sir. How can I help you? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm I'm over here making I'm I'm making a call and I, I get I get a automated system, and it's just uh so irritating just to try to talk to a computer to try to get somebody you know in real world to talk to. <laughs> okay, how can I help you? Oh, absolutely. How can I help you, sir? Uh how you doing? Um, I'm interested. Yeah. In, I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about uh about Epps. It, is it pronounced Eps or Est? You know, it's Estes. Yes, sir. Estes. Um, have, okay. you, have you applied for? Have you have you been to our website? Have you applied for any position, sir? Uh, I'm on the website now, and basically, I'm okay. just doing I'm just doing my research right now. I'm I'm not, yes. you know, I'm driving for a company right now, and I'm not, you know, I don't want to put in an application because you know if you do all that, then y'all saying I, I don't want to do all that. I'm just doing my research right now. I just understand. I just have a uh, just some you know just some basic questions about the company. Um, what you what you guys got to what what do you guys got to got to offer us uh, veteran drivers? I I've been driving for uh, five years. Exactly. I mean, we're a big um, hire of veterans. Sir, I'm a veteran myself. I spent 20 years in the army. Retired back in 2012. Mm -hmm. I can tell you uh, from my own experience. All right, let me stop right there. All right, he, <laughs> it was miscommunication right there. I did not mean a veteran as in a veteran from the service. I meant a veteran as in a veteran driver that's, you know, that got like five, six, seven, or ten years in. So definitely didn't mean to uh, misrepresent myself as asking him, uh, what do we have available for veteran drivers? So let's go ahead and continue. So, I mean, the company is really um, uh, invested and interested in veterans. And, um, you know, we, we offer um, great, um, you know, benefits. We have, you know, things like, you know, 401K, medical, dental, things like that. We have time off, um, uh, you know, for uh, 401K, different things, different kind of options. Okay. So on the web on the website that I'm that I'm looking at, it looks like you guys have uh hiring areas basically all over. Um We do. We're we're located nationwide, absolutely. And that are you on the work for com? Yeah. What's the uh what's, okay. where's the term where's the main terminal located at though? Well, we have terminals that are located all over the United States. I mean, every state we've got different terminals. Um, it depends on what state that you're referring to. Um, if you're referring to what, what state do you currently live in? What state are you interested in working for? Or are you interested in being a regional driver or, um, or another role? It okay. just depends on what you're looking for. Okay. So I'm, I'm uh, out of Ohio. Um, okay. We've got a, a terminal right there in um, Columbus. Uh, I'm close to Cleveland, but I, I am close. I am, uh, I am out of, you know, near Columbus. Uh, speaking okay. of, speaking of which, um, being that I'm out of Cleveland, are we able to, are we able to take the trucks home? 
Um, that I wouldn't know the answer to, sir. That's a great question that you have. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm a temporary, you know, I, I, I did a screening. And we have a driver recruiter if you'd like to speak to them. Yeah, to yeah, can I? Can I? Again? I said, yeah, can yeah, I? Ab- absolutely. Let me um, put you on a brief hold, okay? All right, I appreciate that. Thank you. So, this call- okay, sir, let me transfer you, okay? Give me one second. I appreciate that. Thank you. So this company been open for business since 1931. Good afternoon. This is Sheba Chuni. May I help you? Hey, how you doing? I, was, I just got... I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am fine. I just got finished getting transferred to you. Uh, so I guess you're the you're the recruiter, recruiter I can talk to and ask questions uh, and all that good stuff? Yes. Yes, sir. All yes, right. Sir. All right. All right. So, um... <laughs> All right, so basically, um, he, you know, I'm basically just doing my research, you know, pretty much doing my homework, you know, to see what you guys could offer, uh, see what you guys have to offer and what you can offer for, you know, dr- for us drivers out here. So I just have uh, some basic questions, pretty much. Of course. That's, of that's course. fine? Yes, absolutely. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Absolutely. All right. So it my my first question is like dealing on I mean dealing with a a driver that's coming straight out of out of trucking school or okay. that's going sure. into or that's coming to get his his or her CDLs. Do you guys rec- uh do you guys uh offer uh CDL school type deals? See, unfortunately not. When you come to us, you have to have your endorsements. You have to have your tanker, hazmat, doubles and triples endorsement to even apply for a driver position. Okay, okay. So basically, how so? How many? With that said, how many years that you guys require for a driver to uh, apply with you guys? Well, and I mean, are you looking for a local or over the road? What are you looking for? Specifically? Uh, probably both of them over over the road or regional. I'm out of Ohio, okay, so right, well, just, to, just to tell you just a little bit about both of them. Now, right. with a local C and D, you're home every night. Mm-hmm. Uh, you deliver freight in a two to three hundred mile radius. Um, and you're over the road. You're out for five days, home for two. Um, you average anywhere from two to three thousand miles a week with the over the road. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, let me ask yeah. you this. You just mentioned the fact that we'll be home for two. Would would that home for two uh, re- be a thirty four or a whole two days off? Yeah, the whole two days. Oh, home okay. Two. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So where's um where's the uh, main terminal located at? Because I'm I'm looking at your <laughs> website. Yeah. Oh, I'm right, so- hold on one second. Now, where, where are you located exactly? I'm out of Ohio, Cleveland. All right, hold on one quick second. Let me look real quick. Bear with me. We have so many, I can't keep up with all of them. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Um, yes, we have one in, let's see. North Ridgefield that would handle Cleveland. Okay, okay. So that would that it's on Center Ridge Road. So that that would be that would be the terminal I go to for my orientation. Yes, North Ridgefield. Uh huh. How long is the orientation? You know that varies. You know, honestly, it would really you know depend on the terminal and and also which position you know you're applying for. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys don't do special. Y'all don't y'all don't do that. So coming so Richfield, Ohio will be will be the closest terminal. So if Correct. I decide to either be a regional driver or a over the road driver, am I able to take the truck home? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I am able to take the truck home if, if I go now what if I go local? Would I still be able to take the truck home? Uh, no, no. Okay, that because that would be a day cab that I'll be in. Yes, it's 
Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, like I said, with that one, you're delivering freight two to 300 mile radius. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. And you are home every night in that position. Oh, okay. What about a, what about a sign-on bonus? Do you guys offer that? And if so, how is it paid out? You know, right at the moment, I'm not 100% depending on the terminal once again. Oh, okay, okay. So it, it, depending on depending on any any one terminal that would that would offer a, a, a sign on bonus if any I'm sorry I'm I s- sorry then I'd say depending on any one terminal because it looks like you know on this map right here it looks like you guys have a lot so depending on oh, any yeah, fair, fair. And that would be, you know, at the time that, that you're contacted by the hiring manager, that is absolutely when, you know, a lot a lot of your questions could be answered before you even scheduled an interview, okay? Okay. Um, but, I mean, I, I mean, I'd be happy to, you know, answer any other questions that you have. Oh, no, that, that's fine. That's fine. I, you know, uh-huh. I, only, yeah. I, I have a few, and I appreciate the time that you're taking to, to answer my sure, questions. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Not a problem whatsoever. Uh, do you guys, so pre-employment, uh, for pre-employment drug testing, do you guys require hair follicles testing? No. Nah. All right. Nah. Um, on that same question, do I do my pre-employment screening before or during orientation? Before. Oh, okay. So I so that mean I could get everything done before I even come into orientation and won't even have to worry exactly. about all of that. That is correct. All yeah. right. What's that your What's your policies on felons? Well, and, you know, with, with that, as far as felons, every situation is different. You mm-hmm. know, um, you know, once again, you could pass it by the hiring manager. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they, you know, they would be able to decide. But, you know, as far as that, it's every situation is different. Oh, okay. Okay. What about, uh, what about my DOT card? Can I still use the same DOT card when I come in, or do I got to get another one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. What about, uh, what about leasing? Do you guys... Do you guys do leasing? Well, I have. Um, I mean, we do have a young lady that handles owner operator. But situation. But you guys don't lease. Don't don't that, have no lease purchase that. program. That is correct. That okay. Is correct. Do I get Do I get paid for orientation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. How well you said orientation varies. So what's the what's the average uh variation on that and how much do I get paid for orientation? Well it would be um let's see, hold on one quick second. Okay. Um let's see. As far as they're local, they um it's anywhere around um seventy one. Okay. For the local D and D. Okay. That's it. And then, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the, the line haul is sixty-one cents per mile, and then after three years, it's above sixty-nine cents a mile. Oh, okay. And of course, the local with the local over the road, you're you're, you're uh, you can stay at a hotel motel at our expense. With the one, the one where you're out for five days and home for two. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hold on. I, I think uh, I think we went a little bit fur, uh, further than what I anticipated. So, um, so for orientation, we do get paid for orientation. I was asking how much how much do we get paid for you know coming for the orientation and how many days orientation is. Well, I mean, as far as that, I'm not one hundred percent. Once again, it depends on the hiring manager. Oh, okay, okay. Be honest. Okay, now I can ask you about the CPM because it looks like you was uh, giving me the cent per mile per, I'm going to say, division. So for local, for local over the road, you said it's 60 cent? 61 cent? No, that's for a line haul over the road where you're out for five days and home for two. Oh, okay. It's- it's the one that's the one that's two to three thousand miles a week. Okay. It's sixty one cents per mile. Now and let me ask three years, it's n- above sixty nine cents a mile. Now let me ask you this. You 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 mentioned sixty one cent a mile. Is that out of the gate sixty one cent a mile or is that added yeah. is that yeah. added on with yeah. incentives? 
tap. Okay, okay. So, what what do you guys consider over uh, over the road, like the the entire forty eight states or regional? Well, it'd be regional, it's driving from terminal to terminal within the region. Oh, okay, and I will still get sixty one cent a mile. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now that's that's impressive because. I talked to a few companies that didn't even offer close to that. Well, they offer close to that, but it was like incentives and stuff like that. But you're offering uh-huh. you're offering sixty one cent out the gate. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now th- let's back up for a minute. You mentioned something about having all of your endorsements, but as I'm reading on the on the website, it says hazmat is is not required for all positions. So do I still well, have? It, 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 it would depend on because there are some positions that don't require hazmat. It just depends on what you know what you're carrying. Um, but looking in Cleveland, I'm just looking at what positions we have. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold a second. Hold on one quick second. All right. I don't have anything in Cleveland right at the moment that does not require all three endorsements. But, I mean, occasionally we do, you know, I'll see some positions, some driving positions that don't require. You know, it just depends on what you're carrying. Um, but right now in your area, I do not have uh, all the driving positions I have right at the moment require all three endorsements. Oh, okay. So out, out, so out of my area. So it, it depends on what area that you're out of that uh that requires either tank uh doubles uh doubles and tankers and hazmat right right and i mean but sometimes you know all all the areas have have a position that doesn't require it's just, i just wanted to look while i was talking to you um but it's just right at the moment i don't have any in your area now um i'll be more than happy to give you my extension and you can check back with me every now and then to see if I do have any before you get your endorsements. Are you planning on getting all of your endorsements? Well, I have uh, I have my tankers. I I okay. have my tankers, but my uh, doubles and triples I passed on, and my hazmat I am working on. Now, with that said, if I decide if if I come on with you guys and you guys hire me on without having my hazmat, and I decide to get it. Would you guys help me pay for my hazmat? No, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah well, what I'm saying, you have to have all three endorsements before you can even apply for it. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. What about yeah. a, All right. So cent per mile. That's uh, that's still good. What 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 you said for the local? What what was the local uh, cent per mile? Hello. Well, the, the, the local, is, I mean, you know, it's not, you know, you're not driving the two to 3,000 miles a week. Right. Like with the open road. So would the local be... Would it, the, it averages, and it averages in your area around 60, 90 a year. Oh, okay. So that, so the local will be what, salary-based or something like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, so let me ask you this. Um, You did mention about, um about... Uh, hotels you guys cover for the hotels so if I decide to, to get out of the truck and and stay in a hotel you guys will cover it yes if you're a line haul over the road driver yeah oh, okay okay all right what about uh well since we're on cent per mile and pay what about per diem is it is it offered and is it mandatory no no okay it's just 61 cents per mile all right uh vacations and holiday pay Oh yes, definitely after a year. Yeah. All right. Do you do you guys pay for all holidays or is it just certain holidays? Yes. Yes, just certain holidays. Okay. Okay. Same thing with detention, breakdown pay, and layovers. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't understand you. Uh, detention, breakdown pay, and layovers. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we have. I mean, we have a really good uh, health insurance plan, life insurance. Um, paid holidays um, and then um, we also have a 401k where the company matches 50 cents on the dollar up to 70 percent up up to 7 percent rather uh, 50 cents on the dollar up to 7 percent okay 401k and you're eligible to participate in that after 90 days okay 
Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Um, let me ask you this: since I'll be, since I'm thinking, I'm I'm leaning towards the over the road, considering the fact that that's that sixty one cent sounds real good. Um, do you guys do you guys reimburse for toll scales and parking? Yeah. And we can and and we can run the tolls, right? I mean, we we won't have no problems running the tolls, would we? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. How about a pet and rider policy? I'm sorry. Pet and rider policy? No. Okay, so we no pets and no riders. That's correct. Oh, uh, okay. Um, do you, I'm sorry, believe me, I'm a dog lover. I wish you were good. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys, uh, do you guys force dispatch up to New York City and or California? Oh yeah, we're we're all over the United States. Okay, so if I get a if I get a load that's going to either New York City or Cali, I pretty much can't turn it down. Well, I mean, if, if you're you know going to be in Ohio, it would just be in the, you know the terminal terminal in ohio oh okay okay what's the uh what's the what's the equipment you guys offer what what what, what type of trucks you guys well offer? once again it depends on the terminal every terminal's got different you know trucks okay is it is it the same for if they're autos or 10 speeds or is, or you are all automatic fleet no they're, they're not all auto it's they're, like i said it depends on you know, the terminal okay we're uh, in the process trying to get to that though <laughs> uh, okay so that would be so would you know anything about the amenities inside of the trucks like what what the trucks come with you know i don't unfortunately i mean i could find that out oh okay okay what's the what's the computer uh system that you guys use for e-logs that i don't know i could i could also find that out for you Okay, and I guess uh, my last, <laughs> I guess my last two questions is basically about the truck. So, uh, do you know what the truck is governed at? I don't. And I don't. and do you know? Yeah, stuff like that was in the truck. I'm not, you know, I'm not a hundred percent. You know, and like I said, all terminals are different. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, you know what? Thank you. I I really, you know, the little bit of information that I got about the company is is something to take back and something to think about. I mean, okay. I I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of you guys trucks out here on, over the road and uh -huh. you know, I I just thought that you guys was like a southern base uh company because oh, no. that's we're where I've seen it. States. Yeah, because yeah, we're all over the United States. Yeah, that's because I I've seen most of them down here in the south. Um, uh -huh. what, uh, do you guys, all right, so for older, for like older, uh, CDL holders that's like, that hasn't been driving for maybe about a year, year and a half, do you guys offer a refresher course for them or, or no? No, unfortunately not. All yeah. right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. What's, what's your name again? Not a problem. My name is Sheila. Sheila, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time that you're giving me on, uh, on at, how you pronounce it again? At States? I'm sorry? How you pronounce the company name again? Estes, E-S-T-E-S, -E -S, Express Line. Estes. Okay, uh -huh. these I have the I have tongue I have tongue tie issues. <laughs> so, oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time. Not a thank you. Not a problem. You have a great day, and I wish you the best of luck. Oh, uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, it is called Estes transportation and they do have a lot of terminals they've been in business for like uh since 1931 and uh now they serve more than 8,000 drivers and they serve from coast to coast and they work on a network of terminal to terminal. So like she said, you you pretty much have to have you pretty much have to have all of your all of your endorsements um to to even apply for this company. You got to have your hazmat, you got to have your doubles and triples 
and you gotta have your tankers. But I I haven't seen SD's tr tank. Well, yes, I have. I have. Yes, I have. I, I'm. Yes, I have. I've seen a few tankers, but uh, I'm not sure if you know what I should have asked if they was if if they drive reefer trailers. But I haven't seen reefer trailers. I've seen tankers and drive-in. So maybe flatbed. I don't know. I don't know. But guys, what do you think about that call? What do you think of this call right here? Do you, did she? She knew a few things and maybe she didn't know a lot of stuff, but she gave me some general information and that's all I can probably ask for. I rank this call as a five. Yeah, I want to go with a I want to go with a five on this one. All right. So let's say five. <laughs> so. With that said, she she answered a lot of questions and she didn't know a lot of she didn't know a lot of questions or know a lot of answers. But that's it, y'all. What do you guys think of this call? Leave your comments in the comments below. If anybody you want me to call next, let me know in the comments below and also let me know in the voting process in the community guide. So that's it. The call to Epps. You guys interested in it? There it is. If you guys want to know a little bit more, give them a call. Uh, I did find a phone number. Uh, give them a call at 877-975-4378. But you got to make sure that you have, if you're interested in it and you want to go there, just make sure you have all your endorsements ready. All right? All right. I'm Lockout Men. Until next time. Thank you for joining me for Lockout Man Makes the Call. I will come at you in another call video. You guys take it easy. Peace.